Do you also need to write content in your non-native language? Hi! Today we are going to talk about Language Tool, an open source proofreading and grammar checking software that you can use to improve your writing accuracy and clarity. If you are tired of relying on manual proofreading or expensive grammar checkers, Language Tool might be just what you need. It's a free and open source tool that can help you detect and correct grammar mistakes, spelling errors and style issues in more than 20 languages, including English, Spanish, French, Japanese, Chinese, you name it. You can use it directly on your browser with extensions and on your desktop and mobile with available applications. Unfortunately, there is no Android application. You can even integrate it into your own software or website with the API. Let's see it in action. Let's add the language tool extension. You can see it's available for the main browsers. Me, I'm using Google Chrome, so I will add it to my browser. Add to Chrome and add extension. Okay, okay. And now I can try that it is working. Let's try it. It detected a mistake, what is it? Missing comma, hello, I can add it, excellent. There is another mistake detected, so it's missing an uppercase later, okay. And now it's good. We can disable it here, okay. By default, it uses the cloud version that has some limits and require a premium subscription. You can host the open source version on your own server. I will show you how you can achieve it with LSEO. It enables API and browser extension, but isn't supported with the client applications. So this is an optional step if you want to use the open source version. To create our language tool instance on LSTO, we go and hit login, deploy my first service, search for language tool, select next and create service. Now we will receive an email as soon as our instance is deployed. Okay, I just received the email to tell me that my instance is ready. So I have the API endpoint here and I can try it with a curl request and I have the steps to install it. Okay, so let's do it. Extensions, options, advanced settings, and I need to log out to be able to use my own instance. So I will log out, advanced settings, other server, I copy my API endpoint and I paste it here. I hit save and let's reload here to see if it still works. It is time for you to take some rest, don't you think? So here, uppercase letter, and it's the only thing that I got from language tool. But if I switch to the cloud version, With the cloud version, the detection is not exactly the same. It's still asking me to put an uppercase letter. And the rest, there is the missing comma that I didn't have using the cloud version. Okay, now let's switch to Grammarly to see how it handled this same sentence. Okay, so with Grammarly, I have one warning and it's called correctness convention. So I guess it's in the uppercase letter, but it requires me to unlock the premium version, which seems a bit too much just to tell me there is an uppercase letter missing. Okay, so let's go back to language tool. And I will continue to use my own instance. So when we go to Google Doc, by default, it handles it differently than when it's just on the browser. You can see language tool for Google Docs is here. Okay, so I have a warning. Language couldn't be detected because I made a lot of mistakes. So, okay, I select what it should be. Okay, I fix it. Together, spelling mistake. Okay, together. So yeah, it was able to correct me even if at the beginning it couldn't detect it's English, but maybe my mistakes were too gross. We can also enable a picky mode it will be stronger in the detection. So what do we get from the settings? Of course, they're asking us to go into a language tool premium. And we've seen that it's more uh, powerful than the, than the self-hosted version. We can log into our account. 
The account is mandatory if you use the applications. For example, the Mac application only supports the cloud version and not the self-hosted one, but that makes it available outside of your uh, browser, which is quite powerful. It's uh, the same for the mobile application that comes only on iOS and not Android yet. So then in the settings, you can select the picky mode for perfect style, tonality, and typography. So you can enable it, it's more strict. It depends on your writing style and what you want to write. You can add a shortcut to automatically apply what it found and the suggestion it has for you. You can bind it to those keys. You can create your dictionary so it won't be taken as a mistake, but as one of your words. Let's add Elestio to the dictionary. So it will don't say when a word is a mistake, but it won't know uh, what kind of word it is. Here is the name of our brand, but it could be a noon, it could be an adjective and impact grammar, but it will be very difficult to manage. Maybe they could add the language so you, you know in what language it's correct and in which one it's, it isn't, but it's a very rare case. Language options. So here you can define what is uh, your mother tongue. So it will help the algorithm. You can define your preferred language so it will fall back more easily on those languages than in the others. If it's hard for the AI to detect what uh, language the text is in, and we've seen previously that sometimes it happens, even with the preferred language. You can interpret language uh, in the variant, so what kind of English, you can disable some rules. So as they say, you have the, you can disable them directly in the editor. So let's write, I'm happy here. Here I can turn off this uh, rule. And now in my disabled rules, I can see it and I can enable it back. You can also disable checking on some website. And there are the advanced settings we saw earlier. So either you use the cloud version, which is a freemium, or you have a local server installed on your hardware, or you host it on your own servers or using platforms such as LSTO. Now let's have a look at a beautiful feature they have, which is the API. So we can copy the example in the mail which we received from LSTO, and we paste it into our terminal. Let's copy what it returned and paste it into JSON lint. Here, perfect example to say disable language tool. So I copy it here. Okay, perfect. And now it's off on JSON lint and it's not highlighting everything. So what does uh, the API gives me back? We have in the software, the version, telling me that I'm not using the premium version. So maybe you can have premium on self-hosted because of what I see in the return. What is what is the detected language, the confidence it is, and what error are inside. So matches, message, this sentence does not start with an uppercase later. Replacement, it what it suggests you to do, and the context where it finds it. You have the offset where you have to do the replacement and the lens you have to replace. So it's very powerful and you can create your own app based on the API. You also have additional information on why it's a type, uppercase, sentence start, a description and the kind of issue it is with more details here. And it's the same process for other mistakes. So what there was not the, the missing apostrophe. So it's suggested in a replacement and the offset is at a four. So here and for five characters, you replace it with the replacement. So it's quite effective. Wrapping up, whether you are a student, a writer, a translator or a non-native speaker, language tool can help you avoid common mistakes and improve your writing skill. The free version seems a bit light compared to the premium one, but is still useful and well free. A very interesting scenario I see is if you create a project that would require those features. To have a ready-to-use API for this is a no-brainer. Give it a try and let us know what you think in the comments below. Now, if you want to discover other free open source alternatives to proprietary software, I recommend you to watch this video here.